All right, it is time to make another 30 minute keto dinner recipe. So let's go see what's in the fridge. All right, I got broccoli, I got cauliflower rice, I got cheese, and I got chicken thighs. Thank goodness my crowd cow order got delivered yesterday. So I have some protein to put in this meal. So let's see what I can cook with this in just 30 minutes because I gotta go pick up a kid from basketball real quick and dinner's gotta be ready because he's gonna be real hungry. So let's get to cooking. ingredients, I'm going to make a chicken broccoli rice casserole and I'm going to top it with a breadcrumb topping. So let's start with making that breadcrumb topping. I'm doing this because it's not really, it doesn't contain any bread. So my go-to for keto breadcrumbs is pork panko. It has a similar texture, not really the same flavor, but it's better. So here to a small bowl, I'm adding a half a cup of pork panko along with a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese and then four tablespoons of melted butter. We're gonna mix this together until it's combined, and then we're gonna set it aside and let's move on to our veggies. So like I said, we're gonna be adding broccoli to this casserole, and I'm a busy mom. I don't really have time to like chop up a whole head of broccoli, so I like to make things as simple as possible. So I'm just gonna use bagged cauliflower. Now some of these chunks are a little bit large, so you might have to chop them up into smaller bite-sized pieces but it really does save so much time in the kitchen if you don't have to waste time cutting things up. Obviously it costs more money, but it's just one way that helps me stick to my keto goals. And this is around one and a half pounds of broccoli florets. And you have two options for cooking it. You can cook on the stovetop, just put it in a steamer basket and let it steam until it's fork tender, or you can use the devil microwave like I'm gonna use because it's faster. So just put it in a glass bowl, add a little bit of water, cover it with a plastic wrap and microwave it for around like two to four minutes just until it's tender. While that is cooking, let's move on to our chicken. So I'm gonna cut up some skinless, boneless chicken thighs. And I did mention that I got these from Crowd Cow the other day. Crowd Cow is an online marketplace where you can get high quality meats. They create a connection between the farmer or rancher and the customer. So you can know and appreciate exactly where your meat's coming from and you know you're getting high quality meat. I mean, just look at the difference in these two chicken thighs here. So on the right hand side, I have chicken thighs that I've cut up and this is from Crowd Cow. And then the left hand side, I have ones that I just picked up from Safeway. You can totally tell a difference in the quality, like the coloring is different. You can just tell that the Crowd Cow source one has a better selection of meat. How it works is that you build your own box. You can select your meat and then get it on your schedule. Each cut is vacuum sealed, frozen at the peak of freshness, and sustainably shipped directly to your door. If you're interested in trying Crowd Cow, well, new members can get $100 of free meat plus free shipping if you sign up and order with my link, Crowd Cow slash Keto Focus. It's gonna be in the description box below. Become a member for free and save an extra 5% off everything that you put in your box. This promotion is extremely limited, so act fast. So I have around two pounds of this diced up chicken thighs, and I'm gonna add that to a large stock pot. I'm only using a stock pot because I have a lot of ingredients going in here and I don't feel like my skillet is big enough. So if you have a very large skillet or like a wok or something like that, then you can definitely use that. Um, but for me, I don't wanna overflow the pan and I want everything to cook, so I'm gonna use a stock pot. I have two tablespoons of butter. We're gonna add in our chicken and then just stir it and cook it over medium, medium high heat until your chicken is cooked through. Next in, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of salt. And then I'm gonna add in a half a diced onion and cook that until it's softened. Three cups of cauliflower rice. I'm gonna cook this just until my cauliflower rice gets soft and it's gonna soak up some of that additional liquid from the chicken in there. Then we're gonna remove that from the heat and we're gonna stir in our steamed broccoli. And then now let's add in some flavor. We're gonna add in two ounces of softened cream cheese as well as some cheddar cheese. And you wanna make sure you use sharp cheddar cheese just because it has more flavor than like mild or medium cheddar. And the amount of cheese that you use is entirely up to you. I like to use a lot of cheese because 
cheese tastes good. But if you're trying to limit that, then the bare minimum, just add four ounces of shredded cheese. I like to go up to eight ounces because I thought it added a lot of flavor. Um, but you want to add your shredded cheese to this along with a secret ingredient, which is some cayenne pepper. You just need a little bit like an eighth of a teaspoon or a quarter of a teaspoon, mix that in, mix everything together until it's combined. And then we're going to put this into a casserole dish and the size of the dish is totally up to you as well. You can use a nine by 13 and eight by 10 or eight by 11. And then you just want to make sure it's not overflowing because it's not going to rise or anything like that. Just make sure it fits in there. We're going to add that in and spread it around evenly. And then we're going to put on our buttery Parmesan pork rind breadcrumb topping, spread that around until it's nice and even. And then we're going to bake this in a 400 degree oven for 15 minutes. And hopefully that gets done in time so I can go pick up that kid. And now it's done. It smells amazing and it's nice and bubbly. And I just want to take a quick bite before I run off to get that kid. So let's do a quick taste test just to make sure it's worthy. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. Mmm. So good. The cheese totally makes this dish. Now it's time to go get that kid. The cool thing about this is that it's a make ahead recipe too. So you can make this ahead, pull it out, reheat it whenever you want to serve it. Thanks again, Crow Cow, for sponsoring this video. Make sure you click that link down below so you can get $100 of free meat plus free shipping. And if you guys are looking for some more delicious 30 minute keto dinners, well then just click right here. Just one more bite and then I'll leave.